What's up, everybody? Live with Investor Thrive. This call is brought to you by Batch Leads. If you don't have Batch Leads, you need to get it. I mean, it's honestly one of the sickest services built directly and specifically for real estate investors, for wholesalers. So it's, uh, you know, I love it. Batch Leads is legit. So guys, what we're going to go to today, what I do on these batch calls, I basically show you guys how to get deals, how to talk to sellers. And I'm just going to show you guys how to do deals. Because guys, what's happening right now in the market if you guys are wholesaling or if you're real estate investors, you know what's going on with the market. Sellers still are stuck wanting a lot of money. They're still kind of hard to negotiate with them. So you got to get good at negotiating. You got to be good at, you know, educating them on what's going on, you know, understand their situation, helping them understand like sales skills, negotiating. They got to understand that. But you also got to be able to pivot a little bit so you're not blowing all your money on marketing on sellers that are unmotivated. You need to be able to do deals. Uh, without, you know, putting yourself in a bind, right? So what I believe you need to do and what I've been teaching, what I've been doing myself is what's called reverse wholesaling, okay? It's it's the way to be a sniper. It's the way to sniper and get deals without just blowing your money, without doing it, you know, super aggressive and, and, and just trying to blow, talk to as many people as possible. You don't need to do that right now. So let's just get right into it. So this is what I kind of want to show you guys is to, in order to be a sniper in this business and to get deals without, um, you know, locking stuff up and, and getting trash under contract and thinking you might be able to sell it, you got to, there's a better way, right? So what you have to do right now is you have to go find some cash buyers and find out which ones are actively buying right now. That's what you need to do. So that's the first thing. So what I did guys is I created a Google form called the cash buyer buy box. Okay. And it's super easy. If you guys don't know how to create a Google form, anybody that has Google, a Gmail has a drive. It's very simple. You just type in my drive or drive, and then you go and create uh, a Google form. Okay. I won't make one live with you guys. It's pretty simple. Uh, you just fill it out with the specific questions. Mine has the questions that I want my buyers buyers to answer so I know if they're legit or not, okay? So it's really good to know what my buyers want, right? So right here, I see that this buyer, he tells me that he wants to buy his budget on price range is two hundred dollars to $600,000. Okay. All right. Let's look at the, this says a few mil. So this guy can buy whatever up to 350 to 450. Okay. So this, this guy saying up to, so he wants to buy less than that. This is giving me an idea of what I need to look for. So what I do is I go to batch leads and I look up specifically what my guy wants. So we're going to look specifically in this area that he likes. So it's really cool with batch. Just go mark the area. We're going to mark this whole area. And like, again, he said he's between 200 to 600,000, according to my buy box. And, uh, we're going to go over here to filter. Again, you can do so many filters, but just for this example, I'm going to show you uh, what to do. So right here, there's 3,400 properties that meet his criteria in cash Valley. So instead of going all over, trying to find properties, Utah, just text blasting a bunch, you know, or cold calling, I can specifically go and say, I'm going to find him a deal here in his criteria. And then when I find some, I'm going to call him and say, Hey, look, man, you said you wanted something in this area. Great. I got you it. W what will you pay? So instead of me locking the deal up, trying to blast it out to my buyers, I first, I have a buyer that has given me his criteria. And I know he'll give me an idea of what he'll pay. So that's how you do with batch. And obviously you select all, you add the list, you skip trace it. And then you can text blast it. You can call cold call a batch dialer. You can go knock the door. Now, the cool thing about the new batch, uh, leads 3.0 is okay again you can sniper you can be a sniper instead of doing the shotgun approach so if i know my guy loves logan cash valley right from what i saw on google i can go to a specific neighborhood and dr drive for dollars virtually or pay a virtual assistant to do it let's look for some crappy houses in cash valley okay all right let's see i've never been in this area don't know anything about it but we're about to find some trash houses Ooh, already just drop the little guy right in that area and we already got something. Let's do it right here. So this is how you drive for dollars. You just go to save. And in this scenario, we would create this list and it would we would call it Cash Valley Driving for Dollars. And then you would put it under the tag of, um, oh, sorry. I already have the existing tag for this. You would do it Driving for Dollars. Okay. So then you save and then you're creating a list for the specific area for the buyer that tells you what they want. And then you call, cold call it, text it, knock it, do whatever you got to do to get in front of the person and make them an offer. So 
what I'm showing you guys is specifically how to get deals. Instead of the shotgun approach, you can go ahead and do it, you know, a way more efficient way. And if you have acquisitions managers, they sh should need, a, they need to learn how to do this. They need to learn how to underwrite. Um, now, let me show you another technique that I've been using other than just going to batch and specifically picking an area that you have for a buyer that's filled out your cash form and they tell you what they want. You also, I mean, I don't know if any of you guys have recognized or realized, but the amount of wholesale deals that are being blasted out by wholesalers, it's, it's increased a ton, right? And what do most wholesalers do is they blast out their buyer's list. And if no one gives them a hit, they just, maybe they cancel the deal. What I'm doing is I'm looking at these deals and I'm specifically um, looking for ones that my buyers would want. And then I'm just calling them and saying, Hey, I got a deal. What would you pay for this? And then I'm making the offer with my spread because I already have the buyer that requires no money. And I'm making money off of other wholesalers deals. Do, do the wholesalers care if I wholesale it? Not if they get this, not if they accept the offer, they're getting what they, they, they agree to. So let's see if there's anything in Cash Valley uh, that's been listed from a wholesaler. Okay, mobile home in Hiram. I don't have any buyers that want mobile homes as far as I know, but let's comp this one using batch leads and see what it's worth. Well, shoot, everybody, it's actually in Cash Valley, Hiram, Utah. And my guy says he likes buying in that area. Maybe he wants this mobile home. Wanna find out? Let's see, let's see. I wanna see if this is still available. Okay, so this came out 19th, so that was a couple days ago. Let me call the wholesaler and just see if it's available. I'm just, I'm curious. Okay, hold on. Offers due Monday the 26th. Okay, so they're probably still accepting offers. Due diligence must end. non refundable deposit. ARV, that these are the comps. I don't always believe wholesalers comps, but he says 60,000. So actually, I'm going to call one of my buyers right now and ask him if he saw this because, you know, he's pretty active on this. So again, I'm reverse wholesaling right now, okay? Where is he? Maybe he's not, you know, maybe he won't. He's a busy guy. All right, well, let's see. So let's, let's, so my guy didn't answer. Let's see this one. And they might not answer me just because I got the Georgia number, but I live in Utah. I might probably need to change that number. But I usually call, I didn't call my other guy twice because you know, that's who I am. I call people twice. You know, I've actually never called this buyer before. They just filled out my form. So I'm going to call it again. Hello, this is Crystal. Crystal, how are you doing? This is Nathan Payne. I, uh, you filled out my form a little bit ago about the, the being a cash buyer, your criteria, having your criteria. Oh, yeah. How are Great. you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Hey, I was just calling uh, just to kind of get to know you. I know I don't think we've ever met, at least not that I remember, um, but I was wondering if you had a couple minutes to talk. I, I might have a property you might be interested in. Um, I have a couple minutes. I'm I'm at work, but I'm on my lunch break. I'm just about to go back in outside. Oh, well, but I have a couple minutes right now to you. I'll make it super quick. I was just curious okay. if you um if you buy mobile homes in the Cash Valley area. I said I saw that you said you buy you prefer northern Utah, especially Cash Valley. Is that right? Right. Yes. Uh huh. Do you do yeah, mobile you homes know, I've or? Never, well, I've never done a mobile home, but I I don't know. I guess I would look at. It. I could look at it. I usually I like to flip them. Okay. And um, I, like I said, I'm pretty new. I've only done it a couple of times, so it's just, I'm doing one at a time and That's... looking for my next one. Okay. But I, I, if you have something here, like it, when it's closer to home, which I live up in Logan. Yeah, so this one's in Hiram. Oh, up in Hiram. Yeah, uh, is that close? Yeah, that's okay. right down the road street. Yeah. yeah, so I'll I can send you some information on it and see what you think on it, and you can get back to me. Okay, have a good day at work. Okay, thanks, Nathan. Yep. We'll talk to you later. Yep. Bye, bye. Cool guys, look at that. Like you know, I basically I just got to find out if 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 the property's still available. I might have a buyer. Let's just call it. Hello, this is Joe. Joe, how you doing? This is Nathan Payne. I'm just calling about your mobile home listing. I had your email. I was wondering if it's still available. Yeah, which one? We've got a handful of mobile homes. Um, the Hiram, Utah, 564, sorry, 546 Valley View Drive, Hiram. Oh, yeah. I have a buyer, so I, I fix and flip and I wholesale, but also I know a couple people in Hiram that, uh, in, in Logan that look for stuff like this. So are you guys cool if I, uh, you know, if I bring someone and just throw my fee on, on top if you guys accept the offer? Yeah, that'd be great. I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. Thanks, man. Bye. Hey, all, yeah. all right, cool. So it's still available. He basically said, hey, 24 is probably going to get it done. I'll send it to my buyer. Say, hey, this is, you know, we can get it done. If, let, let me wrap up this call by sending this information to that buyer. Let, let me show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm literally going to make this listing right here. I'm just going to copy and paste the information and send it over to her. And uh, just like this, like it's my own deal. Okay, pretty simple. So I'm going to compose an email. Um, what else am I going to do? I'm going to get the pictures. All right. 
Send it over, boy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? So guys, I mean, that's it. That's how, how life is made simple. You call sellers, you make offers, you make low offers, you give them a low range. And then that, that guys, look, that's the technique that I'm just trying to show you. So um, that's about it. You just don't waste all your time with people. Just get down to the nitty gritty. You guys have a great day. Let's go make some money. Guys, don't think that you can't get deals in this market. There's deals. Just got to do it the right way and don't waste your time. Everybody, peace out. Have a great, have a great weekend.